What is up, Brad family? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be looking at Beamer Code and adding a really cool feature that I think all of you should do to your F30. Let's go. All right, so we're going to do is plug in our VGate OBD2 uh, little Bluetooth adapter. If you want to get 15% off, click the link in the description and you can get yours for a great discount. So let's go ahead and plug that in. All right, so we're gonna open up Beamer Code and uh, obviously select our chassis, so you're gonna get plugged in. This is kind of like a two-step process. I've done some research on this to make sure that I'm doing it right. Um, you're gonna have to go into the front electronic module, then also the rear electronic module. So it's a two-step process, and just a heads up, we are gonna go into expert mode, but don't worry. And I've done some research to make sure that I got the exact codes, that way this feature add-on works. All right, so what is brake force display? Brake force display is when you hit on the brakes really hard, brake force, it activates your tail lights to blink, allowing the person behind you to let them know that you're about to hit the brakes really hard. So what we're gonna do here is code it so where no matter how much pressure you put on the brakes, those lights will blink. It's a pretty cool feature, and honestly, it just it just looks really dope. So let's let's do it. So what we're gonna do here is go into the front electronic module. Um, and that's where you're going to be doing the first part of the coding. So I'm going to wait for this to load. Okay, so the front electronic module loaded. What we're going to be looking for is brake force display. And what we're going to do is put that to flashing. Hit OK. And on the brake force display, leave it at 5 miles per hour or kilometers. I mean, you know, that's I want it to be at the weakest point as far as speed. And also on the force, we're going to leave it at 5M. That way, Again, it's as sensitive as possible, so my tail lights do, um, you know, flash when I brake. So let's go ahead and do that and code it. This is the first step of the process. We're gonna code it. Your ECU will restart and uh, get that part coded in. All right, awesome. So we did that already. So now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go into the rear electronic module, which is part two of this code, and we're gonna tap into a few things in here. Now again, if you got some error codes popping up, like your chassis or whatever have you, Beamer Code will clear it out. It's just part of the restarting process of your ECUs. Just a pro tip, what I like to do is put my seatbelt on while I'm on auxiliary mode. That way my car doesn't just turn off automatically. All right, my camera just shut off because it was too hot outside. So real quick, what we're gonna do now is go into the real electronic module, which we just did, and we're gonna look for a brake force uh, frequency. So what we're gonna do is, um, not that one, brake force display frequency, leave that at three times. So we're gonna tap on expert mode, and what we're gonna be looking for is a specific thing. It's titled uh, 3062 LCE lamp mapping. Uh, so let's go ahead and look for that. It's right here, 3062 LCE lamp mapping uh, one. Tap on that, and we're gonna be looking for is mapping brake force um, L, which is for the left side, so let's look for that. It's gonna be an output, so mapping brake force. Where are you? Here we go, so mapping brake force L output. Yeah, mapping brake force L output. We're gonna tap on that and go BL1 or I, whatever that may be. So make sure you do that. And then we're gonna look for mapping brake force R output, which is the right side, and hit R, hit OK. So what we're gonna do is go back and make sure you hit code, top right, start coding. It's gonna do the whole thing again. Your ECUs may reboot. Um, some error codes may flash, but don't worry, Beamer code will just clear those out. So I'm just waiting for the data to code. All right, coding complete. So make sure that you unplug this properly before you disconnect your OBD2. So let's do that, so let's disconnect. And that's it. So we officially got brake force display coded into our car. So no matter what I do, as far as how hard I hit the brakes, those brake tail lights should be flashing just giving a cool look on your F30 overall. So thank you so much for watching. I hope that this uh, helped you out in any way. So again, if you wanna save money on getting your VeepGate OBD2 adapter, 
There is a link in my description for you to save 15%. There's a code there at the checkout that you should put in to save 15% on this Veep gate. It's a pretty cool feature. Um, again, one thing I like about Beamer Code is that you can just go back to a default state and just clear everything out if you don't like it. Um, and you can add some pretty cool features to your car. So thank you so much, subscribe, and I'll catch you next week. I'll see you, Rad Family. Alright, so real quick, um, forgive me that I'm all sweaty, it just came out of a workout, but I wanted to do another update real quick as an add-on to this video. I've been going to the forums and I've noticed that a lot of people can't get this brake force display to work on their F30s. If it doesn't work on your end, default everything back. Code everything, revert it, restore it back to how it was, and go into the rear electronic module, change brake force to Brem Slitscher, don't know what that means, but I believe in German, that's brake lights. Do that and then change the brake for display frequency to three or five. And then what you wanna do is go to the front electric module. The front electric module takes forever to load. I'm not sure why, maybe because there's so much going on in there. I'm not sure. All right, it's loaded. So what you wanna do is go to brake force display, change the brake force display type to flashing, brake force display activation speed to five, and make sure it's on weak braking for brake force display activation brake force that way it's sensitive no matter how hard you press on the brakes and guys that's that's pretty much it so if it didn't work the first time as i initially explained try this route and it should work so i tried both methods on my f30 and it worked out great i actually changed the flashing from three to five because i just like the way it looks when it flashes five times per second so um, yeah, I hope that helped. If you have any questions at all, leave a comment below and I would love to walk you through it. Um, I'm very active in the comments. That's where I live. So again, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll catch you soon. See you later, fam.